organizations like Habitat for Humanity, Teach for AmeriCorps, and the Red Cross in Rochester depend on the federal investment in AmeriCorps and Senior Corps to help solve local problems in our community. In these tough economic times, we should invest in these types of service programs because they are cost effective and promote pride in our own communities. Do you support continuing the federal investment in national service programs, or do you, or do you support eliminating them? Thank you for your question. And I think, in particular, during this type of an economy, it's very important that we do what we can do to help the programs stay. I lost you. To, to help the programs to be vital and to provide the services that they need. My concern is, and it's interesting to raise this point, we've been home this week. Last week, in the Oversight Government Report with the Subcommittee, we had a hearing, and it brought in uh, all of the food programs and all of the homeless programs. The GAO did a study, and if anyone's interested in the study, I'd be happy to produce it and get it there from my office. The GAO did a study, and they looked at all of the programs, the like welfare programs, the food, shelter, all of, the, all of their programs, and they couldn't come up with how many programs there are and how much money is spent on those programs. Now, that's a concern me. At worst yet, there's no measuring the outcome. There's no look at who are these, which organization, Habitat for Humanity, we all have a sense they do a good job. Which organizations are doing a good job? We should get maybe more money. Which organizations are wasting on administrative costs and not actually getting it to the person who needs it? That's, that's a problem. And that, that was the subject of the hearing and, and the GAO's report. I'm not opposed to to giving money to these organizations, and especially in an economy like this one. What I'm opposed to doing is wasting taxpayer dollars. And I say this over and over again. The federal government doesn't have any money. The federal government is nothing without you and your tax dollars. It's your money, we're saying. It's your money. And the government and Congress is accountable to you as to how we spend the money. So, yeah, I want, to, I want to make sure people, this is the United States of America, I don't know if there's a kinder, more generous people on the face of the earth. They don't want to waste it, and we want to make sure it gets 